What's good, y'all? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be reacting to Swoozy's animated story video. Uh, my first summer job. Now, I don't really watch Swoozy's videos often, but when I do, most of the time, it's his little stories that he does. So, let's hope this one's as funny as his other ones that I've seen. Let's get right into the video. All right, so a lot of you are under the impression that Disney was the first job I ever had. That's kind of a lie. Well, okay, let me let me be let me stop. It is a lie, but it isn't a lie. Jesus doesn't like liars, so let me just explain it real quick. Bro, this was my first a, real uh, job in the sense a, that it had an HR department. Jesus. You had to fill out an application to work there. But my first real slash not real job was working at a car paint and body shop. One of my dad's best friends okay. owned a body shop. So my dad just pretty much forced me to work there for the summer. And honestly, I was thinking about calling child services to report my dad for forcing a minor to work. Oh, but then as God. I picked up the phone, I was thinking to myself, wait, if I get a job, I'll get money. And if I get money, I can buy video games. <laughs> but yeah, dad, you came this close to jail time, bro. I showed up to work on the first day and the guy that owned the place, his name was Martin. Martin didn't really need any extra help. Martin's like, uh, uh, and he's looking around and it becomes very clear. He doesn't want me touching any of his customers' cars for good reason. Just grab the broom the fuck and I'm start doing. sweeping. I sweep That's for fair. like three days straight. I sweep the entire warehouse. Go back to him. Uh, oh, the bathroom. Yo, I go to this bathroom. Oh my god. That's First of all, think filthy. of the dirtiest bathroom you've ever seen in your life. I don't think this bathroom has ever been cleaned once in the history of ever. I get it, like a hazmat suit and go in there because this is filthy. Yeah, all my hands fair. and knees just scrubbing. I would clean the toilets. And then walk by it two days later, and it would be dirty again somehow. Bro, right? so finish the bathroom. I, I don't like understand how Nick's like be so dirty. Of dirt everywhere because he has all the employees sanding cars out in the open. So I'm sweeping like on the fourth or fifth day of work. I develop a cough. I mean, I'm going home every day covered in soot, out here looking like Arya Stark, running around in King's Landing. Bruh. So I go into work the next day, and as I'm sweeping, I put on a mask. And one of the guys that worked there named Peter, I thought Peter was gonna be cool because he's from Trinidad too. Comes up to me, is like. <laughs> <laughs> but what you wearing that thing for, boy? Yeah, no, the uh, all this, all the dust is starting to bother me. I'm starting to cough a lot, so you know, just I'm wearing a mask. And from that moment on, Peter looked for any excuse to mess with me. Bro, why are you so toxic? So the first week ends, and I work seven days a week, eight hours a day, and I walk up to Martin. I'm like, That's some good hours. When? What days do we get paid? Oh yeah. Uh, okay, hold on a second. Pulls out a wad of cash, and I'm just like, yes, I'm about to get them Benjamins. He's a wad of hundreds, okay? He pulls out a single Benji and lays it on the trunk and looks at me like, eh? Nigga, where is my pay? This man <laughs> is trying to pay me $100 for 56 hours of work. He was being dead serious. So anyway, week two, I went and bought me some contacts. So like the second day that I had contacts, I went into work and I'm in the bathroom trying to put them in. And Peter walks by the doorway. Hey, hey, stop digging up in your face now, man. Hey, oh yeah. Watch this man digging up in his face over here now. From that day on, he called me Pimple Boy. So after about a month and a half Bro, of sweeping already. and cleaning toilets and taking out garbage, Martin finally goes, you want to wash a car? I promise you, you have never seen anybody in your life this happy while washing a car. I promise you. I was like, yes, yes. <laughs> People probably driving by like, what is wrong with this kid? Why is he so happy? So yeah, all of July, car half of August, love cars. every single day, no days off, eight hours a day, work, sweep toilets as i'm doing all this i'll walk by the tv and see music videos and these rappers are throwing money at the camera and they're riding around in their benzes so if y'all notice i don't do house tour videos showing off my condo these rappers had no idea that i was somewhere hating my life so trust i know how that made me feel and i didn't want to ever make anybody feel the way i felt when i was sitting there cleaning toilets looking up at that screen Please believe I have never been in my entire life more eager to go back to school than I was that summer. My last day. Bro, of work, he only got paid once so day. far. I walked up into that shop like, yo, Martin, it's my last day, bro. On Monday, I gotta go back to Escuela. Lo siento. Deuces. 
After my last day at work, my dad pulled me aside at home, and he was like, hey, by the way, I told Martin to make you clean toilets and take out the trash and all that other stuff. What? Yeah, well, if you don't get a good education, I wanted you to see what it'd be like, because that's the only kind of job you're going to get is cleaning toilets. Boy, I ran to that phone wow. and called child services so fast on my dad. Just kidding. Bro. I don't know what the number was to dial, but if I did, please believe I would have. So, yeah, when school started back, I'd be at lunch, and my boy Will would come sit at the table, and he'd start telling us all these stories about working at Disney. And at this point, I kind of got used to having a cash flow, and I wasn't working no more, so I'm like, so, you know, let me, let me, let me go apply at Disney and see what happens. As soon as I quit working at the body shop, I started working at Disney. Now y'all know the full story. And as I was working on this video, I stopped for the first time ever and did the math and calculated how much I was getting paid per hour. Guess how much it was? A dollar seventy something. Yeah, I would have. I would have lost my fucking. So mind. for those of you who hours, start working on your hours. first job or even your first summer job okay. or even for those of you who have a job already, next time you're having a bad day at work, think about me on my hands and knees scrubbing toilets. You see me? I'm trying to get rich. Hey man, but think about it. Hold up. But think about it. Like you could like just be a YouTuber now. Like anybody could be a YouTuber if they try it. Like you could be a YouTuber. You could be a YouTuber. You could be a YouTuber. Anybody could be a YouTuber, dude. I mean, like, you may not make it, but, I mean, as long as you're trying, you fucking might. So, why not try? But, if you guys enjoyed the reaction, let me know down in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. I love y'all. Peace. I'ma pull up in that new thing, feeling like I'm Bruce Wayne. Yeah, I get more money than your man. So baby, hop up in my new thing, put you on some new things, hopefully.